So for this gentleman, who has done his practices, you now see he has this little man living in his belly that he's been nourishing and feeding through his practice. And that little man is helping him grow. I thought this picture was kind of hilarious. But again, this idea that you're building something and storing it down here, it's like this other microcosm of self that you're building through this alchemical process into the p potential for longevity or at least better and longer health. I'd say in the modern world, I don't think anyone's gonna live forever, but you can certainly live longer um, through mindfulness practice and through attention to your breath and all of that. So we use breath, these ideas of yin and yang interaction, the five phases to cultivate jing, qi, and shen towards longevity. So basically this is a very simple way to help yourself live longer and healthier um, in the root of it. Um, and I think that the practice is very important. With this stuff, it's not one time that we'll do it for you, it's doing it every day. You can see immediate results, but the real results come from repetition. So, I already talked a little bit about this picture, which is the placement of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. It's very important when doing this. It's also important to lengthen the spine, right? Because one of the channels transits through the spine, so you wanna make sure that your spine is kind of an optimum length. This is done by tucking the tailbone and tucking the chin. This lengthens the spine just a little bit and allows the energy to move through. You don't want to like totally sink your chin, but a slight tuck, and you can feel it again. If you're slightly tucking the tailbone, slightly tucking the chin, you can feel your spine lengthen just a little bit. That's the idea. So tongue on the roof of the mouth, lengthen the spine. This is how we prepare the posture. It's also important to note, just basic anatomy, you have these hyphosis, lordosis, you have these curvature to the spine and you want that. So I'm going to show a picture in a minute of people sitting in straight back chairs that are not sitting in the straight back chairs because it would cause you to not have a natural posture. You want to have both of those curvatures present in your spine as well. So you're not totally straightening to the point of losing all curvature, you're just a little bit to lengthen, but you want to have those natural curves going on. So you see, right, they're all sitting kind of on the edge of their chair. Um, they're straight backed, but you can see the curvature in their spine, and they're all sitting in a state of relaxed attention. So with everything that I've said, on the, t on the roof of the mouth and tuck the chin and all this, it's easy to get kind of tense in your body, but then you have to remember that you're also supposed to be relaxed. So those things present, attended to, but relaxed, relaxed attention. May I go back to the tongue? Uh -huh. <clears throat> so you're saying you're actually kind of curling it. However you, can com however, you can it and it up there. however you can comfortably do it. It should be the tip though. So for me, it's more of a curl upward. Kind of sitting in the room. Mm -hmm. well. As long as the tip is in some sense connected to the roof, that is acceptable. Um, mine is not curled back that far. That looks a little farther than I would say mine is curled. Yeah, and mine's yeah, a little behind my true. teeth. It's easy. You mm -hmm. can just leave it there. Yeah. I think it will yeah, depend upon you know how skinny, how puffy. All of this will affect the amount of distance, how big your mouth is. So, um, <laughs> but tip to roof is as far as it needs to go. Thank you. So, sitting in a comfortable position. So everyone, explore your chair. Where do you feel comfortable on your chair? Okay. And we're connecting the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Um, relax the tension. So in terms of relaxing the breath, um, there's a great exercise on one of the handouts. So we'll just do this to prep. Um, actually, we, it's not Qigong because you're not going to be having the tongue on the roof of the mouth because you have to relax your mouth. So finding the comfortable place in the chair, kind of trying to tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin a little bit, lengthen the spine, shoulders back, shoulders back. What I want you to do is just breathe normally as you would. And then on the next exhale, as you go to exhale, just drop the mouth open and try and relax your whole airway. Let the air pour out of your mouth for a few breaths, not forcing it, but also noticing as it moves out your airway, is my jaw tight? On the next exhale, let it relax. Is my throat tight? On the next exhale, let it relax. Let your airway become as open as possible. And after
after you've done about three totally relaxed breaths, just go back to breathing normally. This is just the first level of awareness of being in our body. Um, meditation is a practice that should be done with repetition. Mindfulness changes your state of tension will change. Just be aware of yourself and try and be relaxed. So to do this meditation, it's incredibly simple. I'm going to hold to the idea that women's hands should be on the right or on top. Right hand should be on top, left hand underneath. So just resting palm on palm in your lap. Again, trying to find that truly comfortable, relaxed attention space in your chair. Chin tucked, tongue on the roof of the mouth, tailbone tucked. What I want everyone to do, and we'll do this for a couple of minutes in silence, is to visualize the energy moving up from the lower Dantian from the root and the pelvic floor, through the spine, ascending to the top of the head, and then coming down the front, through the run mai, back to hui yin, the root of the pelvic floor, and then again, like a continuous wheel, always turning. Inhale, the air moves up, the energy moves up. Exhale, the energy moves down. So, the visualization and the breathing. If saliva collects in your mouth, swallow it and send the S's back downward. Inhale, the energy moves from root to top. Exhale, the root middle from heaven back down to root.
inhale, I want everyone to slowly raise their arms above their head. Try not to hit the person next to you. And on the exhale, scan the front of the body. Lower the hands in front of the body, following the path of the red eye. And then overlapping your hands over the lower Dantian and giving all that chi you just clarified to the lower Dantian, concentrating it, sending it into the lower Dantian. brighter. I don't know, that always happens to me. I just feel like everything is a little brighter. Um, did anyone, I don't know, any reflections, any thoughts to share 